So this evening's performance is part of our Pride Kickoff celebration here at Uptown Social. Actually, the entire group of, of folks that you'll see this evening are all from Michigan City or within 20 miles. So we are really kind of your Northwest Indiana, Michigan City drag queens. We also are celebrating some folks in our community that have provided support to the LGBTQ community for decades. PFLAG is always there to support you. And you can get online and on Facebook and join the Michigan City PFLAG page. And from there we can uh, recommend some mental health counselors if you need, or all of our community events, come out and join us. And we post a different event every month. We have different things going on all the time. So there's always an event to come out and join to feel more um, part of, of what's going on in our community. I went to school in Chicago at college, and that's really when I was trying to find who I was at that point, especially coming from a very um, almost religious upbringing. And it was, well, I guess you would say it was a sinful thing at that time. And it's, it's definitely changed in the time because my parents have come around to it. But it really was that point where I came out a lot later in life, you know, probably in my mid 20s, you know, and I was looking for, you know, a community in that sense. 30 years ago, when I was 15 years old, would you necessarily have a drag show at this venue? Probably not. But now, you know, if, if you are a, a gay kid and you're at home, and maybe you're questioning, or maybe you're thinking about, you know, being alone or feeling lonely related to your orientation, but you know that your mom's going to the drag show, I think just this exposure makes it so much easier. The world is a more accepting place than it was in the past, by far. Because the person under here is not at all outgoing. A very shy, demure, quiet person. But the minute that music hits, I'm like, all right, time to perform. You're on stage. It's just transformation. I'm this character right now. One in a million. 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 You know they're coming up to me because I'm just the kind of We have a group of performers that's welcome to the other side, and we do all kinds of different things. We're going to be doing a performance um, at one of the American Legions and raising money for the veterans, and that's something that we've done for the past couple of years. We had somebody ask, oh, where's your next show, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're going to be at so-and-so, and they're like, the bowling alley? And we're like, yes, and you can see a bunch of straight men bowlers out there looking through the bar service window, wondering what is going on in there? What is that? Just the acceptance and seeing that, you know, like, I can't believe we were at a bowling alley, you know, and these guys are coming up and getting pictures with. <laughs> but they were like, this is okay. It's showing me that this is fun and entry. It's not scary. It's fun. It's exciting. And it's okay. I was there, but I was in a comfort zone because I was where I was at. We're bringing it to them. Here we present a pride event that is just a little bit softer, just a little bit easier. It truly is a family-friendly event. And I host the shows here. You know, I tell a couple funny jokes, maybe some inappropriate jokes, maybe a little bit of swearing. At Michigan City Pride, there is none of that. You talk the way on the microphone, you talk in front of your grandma. So that's kind of the way that we keep it um, on the Michigan City Pride Day. I was so happy to see parents with their kids and just a community event and everybody came out. It was such a fun event. When you had to go to the gay bar, you would, you know, it was shunned. You would, oh, nobody's going over there. You know, there's nobody. It was a big thing for them to finally put an advertisement in the paper. And we're talking late 90s, you know? So, I mean, that was a big deal. People were just like, you know, oh no, that's that CD place. No, it's not. It was a place for community. That's why we had to have gay bars because there was no place for us to go. Now the acceptance is there. It's, it's, I mean, it's still a struggle. Don't get me wrong. There's still, you know, injustices in the world, but we're making strides every day. There is a change happening and it is so amazing, exciting to see where we're going to go. We're absolutely part of the community, just a little bit different part of the community.